Hello and welcome to CleanLink SiteMaster. In this video tutorial we will be showing you how to create and update a job. There are five ways in which you can create a job or task in SiteMaster. The first two methods can be done using the Create button in either the Home or the Scheduler tabs. The third option is by using the New Job button in the Site Record. The fourth is by using the New Job button in the Staff Record. The final method is the way we are going to show you in full now. To see the five methods in more detail, please refer to the Help file. To create the job, go to the Scheduler tab and then click your required day on the Scheduler. Now select Create New Job. Give your job a description. In this video we'll be creating a client review job. Now select the frequency of the job. You may choose to set up recurring jobs, but we're going to select one off. If you know which employee will be carrying out this work, you can select them from the drop-down box. Now enter the job specification before moving on to setting up your client and site that this job refers to. You may now specify the service that will be carried out on this job using the drop-down box. And you can also add any materials that will be consumed on the site for this job. But we'll leave both of these blank. We can now schedule this job by ticking the schedule box. Select the scheduled day using the calendar and apply it. Or manually enter the date. Now we can move on to setting the from and to times for this job. It is worth noting that it is possible to change from AM to PM by clicking on the AM PM icon. Finally, we must add the form to the job, as without it we will not be able to complete the form later. Once we have done this, we can save the job. To complete the form, go to the Scheduler tab, click on the job and select Update Job. Now select the Client Review form. We will now begin filling in the form details. It is possible at this stage to only part complete the form to return to it at a later time. We will show you how to do this process now. With the form part complete, press the Save button. Now select the Back button and you can see the form has a green tick alongside which means the form is underway. By clicking the back button again, we will return to the scheduler. Select the job and you can see the percentage score relating to those questions which have been answered already. Now select the update job button. At this stage, it is worth checking that the date and time details are still accurate. As you can see, they have defaulted to the original details that were entered on creation. If amendments are required, make them now. It is also possible at this stage to add, amend or delete materials being used on this job before pressing the client review form again. We can now continue to fill in the form, marking the questions with the appropriate scores. At this point you can add any overall comments before continuing to sign the form. Once the form has been signed, you can save the job before pressing the back button to return to the job details. You may wish to add photos that relate to the scores on the form or add documents to the job. To do this, use the Choose File button to select and upload a file from its stored location. With the form completed, we now need to mark the status of the job as complete using the drop-down box. You may wish to add comments before saving the job. A note to make is that once a job has been marked as complete and saved, you will no longer be able to open and amend the form. Selecting the back button returns you to the scheduler which shows the job as complete. Each job will show on the scheduler page with an icon. The icons show the status of each job and are a useful visual tool. The four icons include a calendar to show the job is scheduled, a pause symbol to show the job is on hold, a tick means that the job is complete, 
And finally, the exclamation mark shows the job is overdue. Finally, I would like to show you how to move a scheduled job. To do so, click and hold the job and drag it to its new location on the calendar before confirming the move. You can also drag and drop any unscheduled jobs onto the calendar from the unscheduled items section when you are ready to do so. To amend the job details and times, use the Edit Job button. In the next video in this series, we will be taking you through the different reports that are available in CleanLink SiteMaster. Thanks and see you next time.